Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where we're going to check out another weapon today. Kind of uh, figured I'd get on a couple of future war call guns while they're new and fresh. Uh, literally, I've gotten probably six of those True Prophecy hand cannons, and I got two snipers, so kind of left me limited to checking out another sniper. I've know I've done quite a few sniper rifles, but uh, let's take a look at it anyway. So here we have adaptive frame. I think many snipers have this. We have this long scope, which looks like that, and we have this short scope, which looks like that. Uh, steady rounds. I didn't even look at these actually. Okay, good. Yeah. So I went. I wanted more stability, so that's probably why I didn't. I probably did. I don't know. Whatever. Go with the other one. It has more stability. And then I think this used to be called Take a Knee. This might be a, a different trait altogether, but increased ammo, faster reload when crouched. I don't usually crouch and snipe too much. As you can see, this is clearly not the. Uh, the traditional future war cult colors they didn't change don't worry i uh put the bumblebee shader on there because it's a big yellow gun and it looks funny so here is what it normally looks like kind of what you would expect i do like the Omelon snipers because they have that weird kind of shape to them so let's compare it to the shepherd's watch a little bit less range impacts about the same stability handling and reload speed all a little bit higher same rounds uh, rate, rounds per minute, and the magazine size the same. It is the same traits on there, adaptive frame. So um, I did this one a little bit differently, where I kind of just recorded a game without playing, without uh, commentary during it. So I'll do a post commentary while I rewatch it back, and I will add one little clip in before there because it was uh, kind of a nice little clip that I'll just stick in just before the gameplay. Nice short video. Enjoy. Nothing complicated here. Defend your allies and defeat your opponents. All right, so as the game started out, I figured, you know, why not give myself the best chance to get as many rounds in as possible. So I grabbed that first power spawn and uh, figured I'd test it out a little bit. You can see the scope. I'm about to zoom in. It's pretty, pretty good for a low range scope. Um, the yellow shader really makes it look obnoxious. And I approve of that. So here I think we managed to get, yeah. Got that whole team down. Unfortunately, not a lights out because I was too slow on it. But uh, not too bad. A little clean up here. Got some more power ammo. Got some more snipes coming in. This uh, this gun, I have to say, handles pretty nicely. I like the way the scope looks. Um, I would say it's pretty much interchangeable with any of the other snipers that I've made videos on. So uh, it's really just a matter of, um, you know, your preference on style and things like that. Um, yeah, I would, um, I'll probably just keep this in rotation with, along with all the other snipers that I like. So I still missed a fair amount, you know, as you do. You're not going to hit every single shot, but I feel like in this game in particular, I was uh, kind of on the money. Obviously, uh, not every shot. Obviously, nothing uh, too spectacular, but I figured this was a good game that kind of showed what you can do at kind of the average, average dude skill level. And nice little way to end off the game there.
So in terms of this gun, what am I going to rate it? Um, I think I'm going to have to give this gun... I don't remember what I gave the other snipers, to be honest, but it's a pretty solid. I'm going to give it an 8, just because I like the way it looks. I like the way it handles. Can't really go wrong with it. I'd give it a try if, you know, sometimes the scope just is weird and people can't handle it. And if that's the case, then it may not be the sniper for you, but... Like I said, it's going to be on my rotation for a little while at least. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I did actually get the um, Future War Cult uh, Scout Rifle, but I saw a million videos on that. Yes, we know. It's kind of like the Mita Multi-Tool. Uh, you'll probably like it if you get it, so use that gun too. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.